This video will introduce not only how to insert pictures into Buzz or into your Google Docs, but more importantly, how to do it using the insert button up here. Okay? You could do tools, insert image, or sorry, insert an image up there. Okay? Or even easier, you have this cute little button, where to go, that will give you an insert image option. Hers is not showing it, so I need to go to the more button. And it still is. Okay. Usually there is a cute little icon for it. Okay. At the top of your screens. For some strange reason, I do not see it right now. Anytime you see this icon, the insert icon, that means you can insert a picture using that directions. All right. Personally, the easiest way to, for me would be doing the research tool. And then you could search for what you want. Let's look at culture. Now, she's doing a great job because she's not looking at just images for culture. She's actually looking at connection to her culture. Okay? But I'm just going to show you just generically how to do it for culture in general. Okay? You hit it. Remember, I've mentioned this before, but you have this down arrow that you could then look at images. Once you find the image you wanted, Okay, remembering that one, you have to have a link to it. And that's the problem with the image she put in here. But here we go. Let's say I want this image to be my image for culture. Very simple. You drag it over and you drop it where you want it. Wherever the cursor is at is where it will be dropped. So if you move it in the wrong spot, you can control Z and undo it or know that you have to move it. But if you move it from now on, you're going to also need to make sure that you're moving your footnote because the footnote for this image stayed in this box. It's right here. So that has to go with your image. So always try to find what image you want, where you want. So it added the footnote. And at the bottom of the page, then, you can see that that was where the web, the image came from. Okay, that's how to do it from the culture perspective, or from the research tool. Let's say we're going to do it now from the tool of the insert button. Insert image. The person in here did do the search, Google search, sorry, uh, where'd it go? Okay, Google search. Then they typed it in, okay? They wanted this image here. When you click on it once, it will select it, and that's what you need to do. Because before you say select, you're going to want to come down and copy where it was found, okay? So you come down there, put your, finger, your mouse on top of it, do a viper click or a right click on it, and say copy link address. Then you can select your image and I'll insert it. Since I know she's already inserted the image a couple of times, I'm not going to select it this time. I'm going to push cancel. I'm going to now go to her image, and this will work if you messed up and you forgot to insert image the links you don't have to do the drag and drop and all that stuff again you can still fix it by clicking on the link the image going right arrow over push enter now i gotta delete this one down here so you don't get confused with that like i said she did it a couple of times so here we are back at the first one okay my cursor is at the bottom of my picture Unlike the one where I had the footnote next to it, this has nothing. You're going to push Control-V, 
or viper click and right click to get the menu to paste it, okay? I like control V because it's the easiest way to do it. Just saying if you don't know how to do that, you could pull up the menu and paste that. Now, it said where it's from, push the space bar, it turns it blue. Then all she has to do is now push enter and explain why she chose that image to express her culture. 